Good morning, Nia Kittens. My name is Pretty Black Cat, and welcome to my fucking kitchen. And I know, I know, it's not your typical Pretty Black Cat video where I play a video game, poke fun at it, and decide if it's good or if it should burn in the darkest pit of pixel hell. But anyway, today I'm doing something very different and way out there by my content standards because, hell, it's been two weeks. You guys probably haven't heard from me because my laptop's cord died and you know what? I'm just this point so today I'm gonna get right to the point and tell you I'm making banana bread and I know what you're thinking pretty that shit's so easy to make that it's not even fun well what if I were to told you that this is homemade banana bread what were you expecting something FNAF related or Sonic related? Oosh. But let's get down to the nitty gritty and I'll teach you guys how to make banana bread. First things first, preheat the oven to 350 degrees and make sure that your utensils are clean. That is the most important part. And if I disappear off screen, my bad. And this is to confirm that I do have legs and feet too. Woo. I'm dicking about. And <clears throat> well, I'm back. Sorry this isn't a live stream, but you work with what you got. And I'm, and I'm using a recipes of my own. You are going to need sugar, baking soda, and yeah, I store my baking soda in neat containers just so that it's less pain in my ass. Salt, flour, eggs, butter, and bananas. Yes, those long thing, those long yellow things that everybody loves to make psych jokes about and use in psych jokes. And and uh. <clears throat> I gotta w briefly warn you, just because I am nice, the best, the best kind of bananas for making banana bread, I'll have to show you. You want them to look like this. I know what you're thinking. A bad banana? Well, this case scenario, no, because it's technically not bad. It's just really overripe. So, uh, gotta go gather my ingredients because I forgot to do that. Beforehand. <clears throat> yeah. Flower. <laughs> no, not today. Let's see. Flour. Sugar. Baking soda. Right. 
I need butter and eggs. Eggs and butter. I'm going to have and all right. I already said that the oven needs to be preheated, right? Did I mention this? Probably not, so I'll do it again this way. Preheat your fucking oven to 350 degrees, y'all. It's not rocket science. And another thing that ain't rocket science is that Butter your damn, you need to butter your pans. But I'm not buttering my pans because I'm using, I'm using cooking spray, so you can use cooking spray, vegetable oil, butter, whatever floats your fucking boat. I know what you're thinking. Putty! You're a gamer, not a cook. What if I were to tell you? I know what you're thinking. Putty, you're a gamer, not a cook. You want to know the funny thing about me? I'm a fucking renaissance woman. I'm a gamer, I'm a cook, I'm a... I'm a writer, and I'm also a college student, so... Yeah. <laughs> and I'm... I'm making two of these because I honestly don't know how much it makes because I'm using one of my grandma's old recipes Ooh. mind blown all right one cup of half cup of butter Huh, let me check my phone and it's just for shipping the mail. And the shit you're gonna need are And I'm also going to be shifting shit, so excuse me. Prepared. 
I always gather my materials first. And I don't know where my sifter is, so... I don't know where this, my sifter is, so I am going to be using... Wait, give me a second. Scratch that. I found what I'm looking for. What I was looking for. So it says here for banana bread, I need to. going to be a cup of fucking sugar. In fact, yeah, I plan on opening a bakery. And hey, that vegan teacher, if you are seeing this, I am using actual eggs. Not because of animal cruelty and whatnot, but because I'm not vegan. I'm Jewish. And I love beef. So yeah. I mean, yes, I respect veganism and Heck, I don't mind if you're vegan or vegetarian, but if you're going to be a dick about it to me, I'm going to be a little bit of a bigger bitch to you. Alright, got my sucre <clears throat> sugar, and again, that vegan teacher, if you're watching this and you're asking me, what am I making using the fertile eggs of Cora Baby Aliens? I am making you my special shut the fuck up cake. When you can't keep your opinion about veganism to yourself. And yes, you do need to shift shit around so that you don't get clumps. Because in, in baking terms, clumps are like dingleberries. You don't want them. Okay, okay. Shifting shit around, making sure that it's all finely sifted so that we don't have bad banana bread. And I also put shit away as I go along. So if you see me jump in and out of camera, my bad. Oh, and uh, unrelated note, if you are going to start baking, you might want to start by washing your hands and making sure all your ducks are lined in a little row. Because if not, you're going wind to wind up finding yourself being fucked a lot. And I bet some of you subscribers are asking me, Hey Putty, where have you been this past two weeks? And why haven't you played Friday Night Funkin' yet? Because I need to make a little bit of room on my laptop. And I also need, need to find out where to 
get the damn thing. So, please, leave a link to Friday Night Funkin' in the comments below so that I can play it. So, you're gonna, so I already said you needed a cup of sugar, right? Well, you're also going to need two cups of fucking flour. In fact, think of flour as that sticky paste shit that everyone always asks, asks you about out for in school because while dry, flour just looks like some sort of magic Fucking fairy dust. But it's not. It's not. Sorry to disappoint you viewers who believe that fairies are real, but they're not. And if they were, So yeah, you're going to need two cups of flour. That's one cup. And the other cup is coming along in a minute. Woo! Woo shit. And here's the second cup. And yeah, and the recipe that I'm using is kind of essential for you to shift your flour. It says to shift it three times, but is a bit more than enough. Because shifting it three times is kind of borderline ridiculous, but it also makes sense. Okay, there's that. We put the flour away. Yeah, I know, I'm talking to myself, but it's a lot better than nothing. And yes, don't let my skinny, grimy little, little gamer frame fool you. I am buckload a lot stronger than I look. I bet y'all are wondering, oh, that's a nice painting up these corners. I painted that. All right, so now let's see, I got flour. I'm gonna need it. a half teaspoon of salt. Which, by the way, did I mention that you're going to need teaspoons and tablespoons? Because if I didn't, I'll say it now. You're going to need teaspoons and tablespoons. You're welcome. <laughs> I need a half teaspoon of yes, salt. Woohoo! I like salt. And if it's kosher, it's even better. Let's see, did it say half teaspoon of salt? Yep. 
and one teaspoon of baking powder. And if Gordon Ramsay ever sees this, hi buddy, you're talking to your gamer counterpart. I am going to have to briefly wash this. Excuse me. If you got something, you wash it. Because you don't know what kind of germs or whatever kind of shit is out, out there. I'll have to sweep that. Meaning that this little oops only meant one thing. My mom overfilled. And that's one teaspoon of baking soda. And you always shift. shift the dry stuff. So, at least for this recipe. Oh, Why am I so fucking short? Five feet, five inches. I'm annoyed by my cat. All right, now that my ingredients are generally mostly shifted together, wait, how many layers do I need? Three of them? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going to need three of them to be as we showed earlier. Taken care of, let's see. Got three being in here. Already sifted them. And I'm going and you're going to need two eggs. What size? Well, my, in this recipe, I'm using two medium eggs. And Gordon Ramsay, if you're watching this, and you call me a donut, okay, call me a donut. And tell me what size eggs are best to use in huge banana bread. And you're going to need a whisk. There you go. All mixed 
together. And with eggs, you need to double and triple check to make sure that you didn't like drop any eggshells in there because nobody likes their banana bread to have anything unwanted. I mean, unless you're a sadist, in that case, just, what's wrong with you? Oh. And, The, the wood or do I need anything else? Nuts, gutter. You're also going to need three quarters cup of chopped nuts and a half cup of butter. And yes, this is actual butter, and it is indeed easier to work with at room temperature. And again, that vegan teacher, if you're watching this, this is not a shout out. This is a baking channel. And this, this bake, wait, this is not a baking channel. This is a gaming channel. And I don't care about what you grade me because you ain't my teacher. You just ain't. Oh dear. I bet you're wondering, hey Puddy, where's the, where's the fucking, where's the fucking liquid that, that are supposed to make the bread come together? My answer is B. And this is what banana bread mix looks like before you add the fucking bananas. So if something goes wrong, it's my fault because if you're younger than 13 and you're watching this, first off, what the fuck are you doing here? And second of, don't do this without a fucking adult. Just don't. If something goes haywire and it lands on you, it's kinda gonna land on you and it's gonna be your fault. So I bet you're wondering why I'm adding 
the memes now, it's because, well, if you hadn't taken the science class or haven't figured out just by your parents alone, these bitches have liquid, and liquid binds shit together. don't want that in our banana bread. Leave that. Yeah, I know, sounds kind of productive, but this is my grandma's recipe. Sorry. And yes, they need to be seriously ripe to the point where they're kind of considered to be rotten. There you go. And I'm also getting my batter out of the whisk because that's just a big no bueno. Big no bueno. And to you new subscribers, sorry to disappoint you with this newest video being a baking video. But you know, shit tends to happen to me a lot. Got the got the batter out the best I could, so now all I gotta do is mix this. I mean, I'm basically the oldest here for a second. For the moment, I don't know if that comment's going to age badly or not.
And I always clean as I go along because it will make clean up a little less of a pain in my ass. you're seeing this it's technically not a banana but it's banana bread I get it close enough Yeah, you kind of want it to be more liquid, because if it's not, if it ain't liquid, you ain't doing it right, or you seriously fucked somewhere along the line. Always do clean up. As you go along, because the minute you don't do clean up, you're just asking for a huge amount of work. That is also borderline unnecessary. So let's see here. Actually, I think this is the right velocity for, this is the right, uh, viscousness, I think. It's the right, it's the right amount of gooey shit for this. And it's missing something. It's missing chopped nuts. And no, I'm not referring to the thing hanging in your hanging in your pants. I'm referring to these nuts. These nuts. Uh, I'm making some pretty shitty gels. What's got it? Where'd my life get to? No. And I heard that YouTube is now copywriting Sonic songs, and I'm like,
is why I feel that YouTube's new copyright song on Sonic music. What the hell? And to all of you viewers out there, for the love of fucking Scott Clawson, press the subscribe button. It's not just there to look pretty or whatever. It's there for you to click on. Do I have to say subscribe right now? or worry about Sonic Daddy and see coming into the house. Because if I do, then call me Adam if that works. I am doing this by hand at this point because I am getting a little bit annoyed at the whole time. I'm using a potato masher because I don't want to scare my viewers and handle knives because the last time I handled a knife on my channel, a YouTube community guidelines said, oh, it's going to tend and I'm like, dude, it's just me with a block of wood and a knife whittling it into the shape of a hedgehog. Come on. Seriously. I mean, I kind of miss the days where YouTube... You can just literally broadcast your ideas and nobody would get would get uh, penalized. And this includes those in the arts and crafts, baking. <sighs> Oy vey. I miss those days. need three quarter cup of chopped nuts. Here's the magical thing called the YouTube algorithm. Just kidding. It's just it's just a three quarter cup measure. Here you go. Mix this. Yep, now we're at the right velocity, viscousness. Um, now we're at the right degree of wet. Now it's time for me to take the pans, which were, as you know, spritzed, and I pour it in. Though, so, little tip on that, you might want to do, do the pouring stuff in at the halfway mark, because if you pour it in all the way, It's going to get pretty messy. Ah, 
I know, I know. Pretty, why are you doing this? You don't even have 100 subscribers yet. Yeah, my, my goal is to get 100 subscribers. And if I exceed that goal, well then, who knows? Just, who fucking knows? Ew. Give me a sec. Just washing my hands. And at this point, we're going to need this little guy called a spatula. I mean spatula, sorry. Force of habit from when my when my dad was up in the lab. He had different names for different things, like a spatula would be called a spatula or a I am not going to discuss his other nickname for it here because YouTube or TikTok or whoever the heck decides to reuse the sound. Or to whoever reuses the sound of my fucking voice. Kudos. Just kudos, man. Big kudos. It's almost as if you can't realize. Woo! But I'm honestly quite proud of myself for getting 40 subscribers at this point. Because when this channel first started, I had some difficulty coming up with an original name, so the putty part, I bet y'all are also asking, where did the putty, where did you get your name pretty black at? Truth be told, My mom used to watch a little bit of Looney Tunes when I was a little kid, and she said, I thought I taught Putty Tat. I did, I did teach Putty Tat. Whenever I wandered about the house, because I was a bit of a wanderer when I was a, a baby. <laughs> I know y'all are thinking, ugh. I know to the trolls who think, uh, this stupid idiot tries so hard, and I'm like, hell yeah, I do. And now we put these in the oven and pray for the best. Because I've made too fucking much. Not to mention the pan that I had this in is too small, so I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah, I put, put some of that banana bread into a little bit of a too big container, so I'm going to opt for something smaller.
yes, it's clean. Yes, it's made of glass. And yes, I'm using it. I don't care what you've done if you watch my sports video. I can't think of any lyrics that are from that sports related and I'm trying to think. either about an hour or until your knife comes out clean. So, see you in about an hour. <laughs> 